tell us what satanic ritual abuse is and just how it's spread to the people. And sure. Yeah. Well, satanic ritual abuse is what's basically happened is families who have a personal agenda they pass on their personal agenda through abusing their own family members. So they keep people in the agenda of the family, the cabal family, the deep state family, the shadow government, the Illuminati, all these various types of orders for control and opposition of society. In order to keep people in the ranks, they have to actually control their minds. They have to do mind control programming on them. So what satanic ritual abuse is, is a set of ritualized methods of basically ancient mind control reaching back thousands of years that they programmed into a set of rituals. Now what's interesting from the research I've done is that most of the people in these dynastic families, they don't actually understand the way the mind control works. They're just traditions, like familiar wow. traditions. And that's actually part of the programming. The mystique is to get somebody to believe in the, the grandiosity of the power of the programming. And then through the power of their own consciousness and free will, they make it a reality. So from a cultural standpoint, satanic ritual abuse uses the, the narrative of Satanism, that there is this dark lord, Lucifer, or Baal, or Baalil, that they worship. And he's the central nexus of their certain power. And then through these various demonic entities they can call forth to, to have power in the, the etheric realms, either to influence people or to do voodoo or things like this, or to just keep their own family members in line. So t satanic ritual abuse deals with not only the how to keep the, the family members in line, but also how to actually to call forth what might be called like magical or dark magical power, uh, necromantic power, the ghosts and spirits to pull forth to do something for the practitioner. Jeez, very interesting. Yeah, so some not so friendly stuff. Yeah, that's but right. Now you you mentioned you mentioned some families, right? Or like keeping it in the family. Does it happen to people outside of those families too? Or are we just looking at mostly like a, a generational kind of thing? And is it mostly like the thirteen families that are that are doing this kind of thing? Like, what's your take on that? Uh, the it is mostly kept in the family, but people who interact with the family have to go through some level of abuse and programming. So basically the kind of the distinction you can make is that if you're going to interact in any way, shape, or form with the agenda, you're going to have to go through some form of abuse. It might not necessarily be satanic ritual abuse. It might be some other form of abuse, but there's the abuse is going to be there. I would say that the satanic form of the abuse is more related to the religious microculture of the family. So every family has a tradition, right? Mm -hmm. You might be Christian, you might be Jewish, you might be Buddhist, whatever it is. And that culture, that tradition, is literally going to shape the, the culture of your familial environment, which will determine the values and the behaviors of the people that are raised in that environment, right? So the same thing happens in these satanic families, except the religion is Satanism. Man, have Satanism. you caught any of that new show, Sabrina? I haven't. It, it's been on my queue, though. I haven't No, you know, actually, I've been watching it. You, you've been yeah, watching it. Yeah, I haven't. Yeah. Because I wanted to see what the heck was going on well, with that show. Because, I mean, we, one of our, our recent episodes we did cover about rip witches. And, I mean, they bring in um, Baphomet. It's like the main, right. main demon that they're well, in, in the show. In the show. Yeah, oh, no, 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 dude, it's yeah. full on. And wow. my take on it has been that the show is actually uh, an accurate representation of what happens in these families, just like what you're uh, talking yeah, about. Sure, yes. And like, it's just a culture, like it's a religion, like anything else. They're saying, you know, praising and then crap like that. And oh, they're really, really saying that. Yeah. <laughs> and they have to choose, like, they're saying you choose like the path of the night or you follow the light. And then it's like, oh, everyone's oh choosing God. the path of wow. the dark. And, you know? and so like, yeah. obviously like I'm watching it just because I'm trying to figure out what's going sure. on, but right. it's astounding how they're trying to get this culture into, like... Well, well, in, in my, well yeah, in my understanding of it, it's they're trying to normalize this. You yeah, know? Exactly. They want, they want it in people's consciousness to be like, oh, it's just a TV show, it's okay. Well, then and then the kids, kids watch it. Right. And there's going to be kids walking around saying, praise Satan. How? Like, what the yeah, hell? Exactly. Well, it's funny, I, I talked to a friend of mine um, at a coffee shop, and I was telling her about the Obama, the we, uh, Yes We Can, which if you play backwards sounds like Hail Satan, I don't know if you've heard about I that. I have heard about that, yeah. yes. <laughs> so yeah, look that up if you guys get a chance, it's pretty distinct. But, um, so I was telling her about it, and, and I thought her response was going to be like, oh my god, that's so reprehensible. She was like, I love Obama even more. What? Yeah, that was her response. 
So if you need any more proof that they're they're promulgating or propagandizing and selling the satanic ideology to society, it's there it is. Or or exactly. <laughs> what does SRA do to people? Well, satanic ritual abuse. Basically, what it does at a fundamental level, whether we're talking about somebody who's deep in it, um, they're an actual member of the Illuminati or the Cabal, or they're just somebody who's coming peripherally, is it destroys their ability to self-evaluate, destroys their sense of autonomy. So psychologically, you need your sense of autonomy to do everything. So when we talk about autonomy, it's your sense of confidence in your own abilities to do what you're doing. And part of that is intrinsic value. So you need to be able to evaluate your own personal behaviors, your desires, how well you do them on your own ground. And if you can't do that, then now you're dependent on somebody else. Yeah. But basically what it does is it, it creates a break in the personality. So where it, because you have no grand personality, mentally all these personalities start together, yeah. you, you get multiple personality disorder, borderline personality disorder. So literally your personality gets shattered through the ritual abuse, whether it's from childhood or you get subjected to it as adulthood. You go through some extreme trauma that breaks down your personality, and now the, the, the neurologically what's happening, you have the, the hind brain, the reptilian brain, you have your limbic brain in the middle that manages your emotions, and then you have the neocortex, the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex, that's where all of the executive decision making is happening. So when you're conscious, when you're in a beta state, when you're lucid, you're be able to think rationally, then the, your conscious mind, your human self, your soul is making the decisions, right? Well, if you subject somebody to enough trauma, then that shuts down, literally. That part of the brain breaks down, and now it's only the hind brain and the limbic brain that are firing, and those are the animalistic centers of the brain. And those parts, they actually contain a kind of like primordial personality. Right. So every time it's you, like built-in stuff, yeah, right? Built-in, like, and the way this works is every time you face a challenge in your life, you create a personality structure, an ego structure, to deal with whatever that challenge is, and that literally installs itself in your biology. So this is yeah. disassociated I just identity say that. disorder, right? Just and say that. multiple personality so well, I mean, also known as multiple personality right. yes. disorder, right? Exactly. And then it's also like trauma, trauma-based mind control too. That, yes. That's what I've heard a lot of with these ritual abuse type things because through the trauma aspect and their control, like they control that person's decisions, like knowing what that person is going to be doing, how they're going to be making decisions in the future, and they can control them from, from them from that point on. Right? Exactly, yeah. The, the technique, the method for breaking down a personality is trauma. You destroy the personality through some type of trauma. It could be something like, like one of the things they discovered in MK Ultra was if you put somebody through sensory deprivation for up to 40, 40, uh, 48 hours, 